Okay, so the nose is a bit off center. Her nose is tilted off to the side. It's not within the um, within the symmetry line of the eyebrows. Okay, now that we fix the chin, the nose, we find out that the lips are also. Remember that thing that I told you. If you fix one feature, the problem another of another feature shows up right after. So now the lips are off center. So I'm just going to push them. towards that. <laughs> and then now that we fix the lips, what's left? The chin. So we're going to go back and align the chin. I think the reason why you push the features off so much is one, you had a white background and two, you had one part of the face covered by hair. And they're like, no, don't cover up my features. And then you push them to the side a little bit. That's what I do. I sort of don't like it when something threatens to cover up the features I'm working so hard on. And so I push them off to the side to avoid being hidden. But that's just silly because it's, it's, things get hidden by hair. It happens. So before, after. Before, after. Okay? And I'm just uh, just even out the brow line, and then I'm gonna change the background to a gray because it's easier on the eyes. All right, and then. Um, as for everything else, um, when I when I talk about faces, I always say there's like about eight or, or, or nine areas that are that are light. So they are cheekbone, cheekbone, nose and nose bridge, forehead, under the brows, which you got, then the milk mustache above the lips, connecting into the cheeks, and then the chin. Those are the areas that I always indicate are light spots. As for the dark spots, the dark spots are the two eyes. Right here. Two nostrils, which you got. And two lip corners. Then in my nose video, I showed you guys how to make the nose look more... Um, pushed out of the face and that's by placing a little bit of light above the nose in that area and then I showed you how to make the lips look more real and that they're not really penciled in the way they do in makeup even if they do it in makeup there's a certain degree of this happening which is the blend on either side of the lips here and here and then here and here as well. Then you have Cupid's bow. And for eyes I tell you another thing which is outlining or, or darkening the outer part of the eyelid or the bottom eyelid that helps to create shape. I also tell you to illuminate the inner part of the eye and the and the tear duct here. If this is illuminated then the eyes look more alive. <laughs> yes, yes, I will, Niall. But I can do it over a couple of le lessons. I'm not sure if I can go over each one today. And then um, with the eyebrows, don't just sketch them in. I also say shade them in. Make sure that they don't look like Scow's brows. And then I also say add in a shadow for the upper lid on the eye white. That makes the eyes look more alive. 
and a little bit of light near the top of the eyes as captured. In the sides of the nose you shaded with a green. This is not good. Shade with a skin tone color. Don't shade with a green. Shade with a skin tone color. And the nose is susceptible to light. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, to light because it's essentially see-through. It's not bone. And so what you get is a lot of redness there coming through, just like in the cheeks and the lips. And after that, just blend. So that the chin illumination can also work. What are scowls brows? Scowls brows are, are when women erase their brows. So women go and pluck their brows in the store. Hey lady, can you please pluck off all my eyebrows off? And then they buy an eyebrow pencil for $45 and then they draw on their eyebrow back. <laughs> that's that's scowls brow. Let me show you what these idiots look like in real life. Oh God, some women just don't know how to wear makeup. Okay, so basically this is a scow's brow. Oh my god. This is a scow's brow. She doesn't really have a scow's brow, it's just her eyebrows are thick. Um so this is the girl's face in real life and this is her eyebrows after <laughs> she draws them on. This these are scow's brows, but it's because her eyebrows are thick. Holy bananas. That's disgusting. I could just sit here all day staring at him. This is no brow. No brow looks beautiful. I'm going to save this picture. It's inspiring me. Okay. That's a scow's brow and it looks absolutely fake. You want realistic. Fashion now has a, an absolute adoration for thicker brows. So for girls, please stop looking your eyebrows. And um, push that eyebrow shade on to the side and then push it out into the nose. What happens in makeup happens in the portfolio, I mean, pro portrait art. Girls get an actual eyeshadow color that's brown and put it on the sides of their nose to make their nose look thinner. They actually do that. No shit. Go on YouTube how to, how to contour nose. It's right now. If the guys don't believe me. Okay. And then for the lips, you need to darken up the inside of the lips because there's no light in this area. So, exactly. I never understood it too. I never understood it either concept, why they why they do that to themselves. And that's to know it's Harry's good. Harry's in. Harry's in now. Not Harry, Harry, but Harry's in. Harry eyebrows are, are fashionable now. And they've always been fashionable if you know how to dress them and groom them, so... As an artist, you sort of have to know these things. You have to know what's beautiful, what looks nice. You don't want to draw a girl with scowls brows. You want to you want to draw someone that looks very natural. And I'm just going to continue the shape of the nose off into the sides of the cheek, and carry off a lighter version, a lighter color, into the nose brow, into the nose um, bridge. Sorry, to make the nose a little bit more outward and push the eyebrows to the side connect the shading and then carry that shadow out to there too so do you see how the face now is framed with with contouring and this is again happens in makeup they get bronzer they contour the entire sides of their face to make their outer face look thinner. So they make this area look thinner by putting dark in all these areas. So they darken up this whole area with brow bronzer and then they get light and put it in all these areas so their face looks thinner. This actually happens, search it up, had to contour face. <laughs> I'm serious, they do that. It looks nice if you do it right. If you do it right, it looks good. But if you let's let's go to Google again. <laughs> Over contoured 
face bronzer. Let's find these idiots. Um. <clears throat> Let's um. Bad contouring. Okay, so you have this. <laughs> uh, and then you have. Um, I don't know what the fuck that is. I know there's some people who really do a bad job. Okay, I don't want to be racist, but white girl. Too much bronzer. Where is that picture of that girl with too much bronzer on her face? I don't know where they found it, but it's a girl who used too much orangey dark brown to contour her face, and she was white, so her face looked orange. Anyways, yeah, little makeup lesson there. And then take a little bit more on the lips, and then you need a little bit of illumination on the top lip, as I have shown you guys, and on the chin. A little bit on the nose, over here on the eyes. And there you have it. You might want to introduce a little bit of brow bulge. So on the insides of the brow, just push it up. And then get some light to show the little brow bulge on the top of the eyebrow. So her looks sort of sinister. Cancel. Flatten. Save. Before, so I push the features off to the sides. I, um, I, when I push the nose back, I realize the lips were too far because you're trying to hide them off um, or escape the hiding. And then the lips were too far, and then I push the lips back, and the chin was too far. So I line the symmetry back together. I then also put the darks in the places I tell to put the darks. So the two eye areas, two nostrils, and two corners of the lips. And then I got lights and put them all the area in all the areas that I told you to put them on the face, which are two cheekbones under the two eyebrows, uh, forehead, nose tip, and nose bridge above the lips, like a milk mustache, and on the chin. And then I sort of continued the contouring and framed the face with some dark, so framed the face out, put some contouring on either side of the nose, and then I got this. <laughs>